What's going on guys? Back for another video. Um, today we're just going to be messing with the Mustang. Uh, the two-step box that's on it is kind of broke, so we're going to replace that. Got to take some cat litter that I got in the garage for like oil messes and stuff. I kind of made one the other day. But uh, it's been cold out. It's pretty cold out now. My heater broke. That's why the video's been slow. But as soon as it starts warming up more, uh, the videos will start probably two a week, two or three a week. But yeah, let's get in the garage. All right, guys, so we got the Mustang pushed back a little bit. This weather kind of sucks, but what we're going to be doing is right here, this box, this two-step box, as you can see, I bought it used. It has glue all over it, and it doesn't, like, you can't tune it in by the dial. So I got this new one over here and some of this stuff to try to hide some of the wires, maybe. But this one should work a lot better. It's pretty much brand new. It used to actually be on this car. But we're not going to use this for this car because I'm going to get a lot box for it. Morgan's shaking a lot. <laughs> it's cold. It's freezing. But not as cold as other days. So let me get this on hook real fast. It just, uh, you got this one right here. These, these ones, however they come off. Boom. This one. I think that's it. Yep. And the rest goes in the car and to the uh, coil packs. Well, we'll keep this one around just to mess with it. Uh, never know. Maybe use it for another Mustang if we ever get a third one. Well, let me figure out what I'm going to do with these wires real fast, and I'll be right back to you guys. So I'm going to uh, start this uh, hole right here with this, and this is what's going to mount the uh, two-step to this plastic thing. One day I'm going to have Morgan, because she wants to do some wrapping. I'm going to have a carbon fiber wrap this on both cars, I think. But uh, I think that'd look pretty cool. Let me strike this, get it in there. If I go the right way. That's going to be where one of the holes is, and we need three more. So let me get that going, and uh, we'll get that mounted up there. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. It should look a lot cleaner. And uh, we'll come out here one day and see if it, the dials work. All right, so now we just got to pretty much plug it in. Off I plug it in right. Because uh, I know two of them go in the same one. So I'm trying to count the pins real fast. It looks like that one only has like one pin. Hopefully it's not broke. I have to look, make sure I know <laughs> when I go in the house. So I think this is how it goes. Just like this. And then this one right here that the blue wire goes to the, uh, I think the clutch switch and the white one doesn't do nothing and the black one's just a ground, which once we come back out here when it's warmer, cause I'm starting to get cold already, I'm gonna put this ground somewhere else to hide it, this blue wire. Now I'm gonna use that black stuff to hide it. I think I'm gonna clip this white wire off because we don't use it for nothing. And I don't plan on using it. But this should hook into this one right here. There's nowhere else for this one to hook into. That's all it should be. But for now, I'm just gonna tuck this stuff down under there where we can't see it. And it'll still give us the idea of what it's gonna look like. And it'll just be all protected after I get it done. That's gonna go like that. Put that under there. And you won't be able to see that blue wire or nothing no more after I get completely done with it. And you should be able to get in there and adjust it still with a little screwdriver. So I think that looks a lot better. What do you think, Morgan? Yeah. I was just around. Yeah. So this video ain't over yet. This is just the start of it. Uh, I'll get that ground wire taken care of somewhere down here. No, and the screw hole down there. Put it in the yeah. ground. It's like back here. Somewhere back here. So I'll get that taken care of, and then I'll get that black stuff on it, and we'll test out the different settings on it uh, in this video to make it more interesting. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. 
We'll be back out when it's not so cold. I'll do all that. Hold on. I'll do all that stuff off camera with the ground and stuff. I'm actually going to end this video, but before we end it, I'm going to show you what parts I got for this car in my bedroom because they're stacking up fast. And we got more actually coming next week and stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully you like seeing this. I will show you guys how it works in a different video. It may not be about the MSD2 stuff, but I'll just uh, say how it works and show you guys. So let's uh, clean up the garage real fast and head in the house. I'll show you what all the parts I got for this. <clears throat> Alright, me and Morgan made it in the house. I uh, got cold outside. Show them the shirt, Morgan. Got the shirt hanging up there. Broke and broken garage for the YouTube channel. I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to throw that up full of uh, like Mustang stuff and YouTube stuff. So if I ever start getting people that uh, my channel ever gets big enough where I get like fan mail or something, I'll put it up there. I don't think. No, but that's Roadrunner. He's cool. But, okay, so I was saying I was going to go through the parts that I got so far for the uh, black Mustang. So we'll start over here. We got in and out of tie rods. That's those. I got the BBK uh, header gaskets, manifold gaskets, sway bar, and links for it. I got most of this stuff from my friend, but uh, some of it I'm starting to buy. But I still did buy this from him. It's all brand new. Power steering delete, because we're going to delete the, I mean, not power steering, we're going to delete the AC. I may get a power steering, uh, steering delete kit, where it's just a manual rack and pinion and stuff like that. I'm uh, still debating on that. Most likely it's going to happen. Wish I could put that thing in where Donald Trump is like, most likely, probably, if that happens, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we got this. I'm probably going to put an oil pressure gauge in the black Mustang since I'm uh, putting uh, cams and stuff in it. We got power stop, brake kit, rear, front and rear, uh, drill and slotted rotors and pads. That's a front rotor and pads. But I got everything to do that. Hardware kit and all that good stuff. This is for the uh, AC delete kit. So it was in the box at least. So I would assume it's for that. Uh, over here, we're starting to get into more engine parts. We got brand new water pump. Imagine I'll change that. Oil pump. This is actually supposed to be a better one. I think it's from Ford Racing. Pickup tube and a uh, clutch uh, cover thing Ford for the Ford. Dust cover thingy. Yeah. That's all for the black car. And I'm still ordering more stuff. I got a timing chain kit coming. Like I said, we're pretty much going to put full bolt on to that engine. Like everything except pistons and rods. And uh, probably use stock heads but with cams and stuff. I still got to order a gasket kit, thermostat, AOP head studs, and the stage 3 cam kit. So I will do unboxing videos of uh, most likely the stage 3 cams. It's going to be cop cams and uh, the AOP head studs. We'll, we'll do unboxing of that. But we'll probably start working on that as soon as it warms up and we have everything to do it. Because all these parts and the parts that I'm going to order is pretty much to get the engine tore apart and put back together. But we still got a lot to do to the engine bay. And to the engine because, like I said, we're doing full bolt on. So I got to get intake and injectors and all that good stuff. We're well, probably making dyno videos this year and everything else. So please uh, stay tuned for that if you like that kind of stuff. And don't forget we got the blue Mustang, which we got a lot of parts stacked for that still. And we're doing more stuff to that. But uh, please like, comment, subscribe. See you guys for the next one.